James Cook of the University of Maine at Augusta, and I'm producing this video to show you just how easy it is to install and start up Node Excel, a program that allows you to work with social media data, social network data, and produce some pretty interesting visualizations. So I'm starting in an empty browser tab, and I'm just going to type in nodexl.codeplex.com. This is going to take me to a website that is produced by the Social Media Research Foundation, which is found on the Office Marketplace, which is one sign of legitimacy. I can also tell you that this group is associated with the Social Media Research Foundation, uh, which is itself uh, an offshoot of Microsoft Research. So this is a, an institutionally legitimate program. Downloading it and installing it should not create too many problems, although you may have a hiccup along the way. As we'll see, there it's not too serious. So once I reach this web page, there's a whole lot of information if I want to take a look at it, but right up at the top is a big purple button called Download. Well, I'm going to click that. It tells me it's downloading. Uh, and there we go. So that will be downloaded soon. While I'm waiting for that to finish downloading, uh, I'm going to talk to you about some of the things you can do on the Node Excel website. Uh, there's information about uh, documentation. There's a tab here. Uh, if you click on that, you can, of course, be referred to the excellent book, Analyzing Social Media Networks with Node Excel. If you're in my class, you already have this book. Um, but there's also uh, a search function that allows you to enter information, say, about edges. Let's find out what comes up. And it'll give me seven results, uh, including a data analysis guide. I can also uh, go to discussions. And this is a little bit more interactive way of getting support. Uh, someone wants to record tweets from a particular user. I could browse through these. How do I create groups? This is all lovely. What if I have installation problems? Uh, it's nice to browse, but you can also search. So uh, you can search for a term here in uh, the search box and uh, work with that. Uh, also, uh, if you wanted to find out with uh, what's going on with particular uh, problems downloading, this is a good place to search if, if you've had trouble. Uh, this is a, a support tag area, okay? And, and you can definitely do that. And if you always need to download, you can go back there. Uh, another really interesting feature that you might want to try looking at uh, is the Node Excel Graph Gallery, which is, if you click on that, going to provide you with a bunch of visualizations of social media data, giving you some ideas of what's possible. And what's really neat about this is that when you click on any of these visualizations, here's one for malaria, you not only get to look at the uh, graphic itself, but you also get to download uh, the graph that came from it so that you can, with a lot of statistics regarding it, so that you can uh, work with that graph and you can develop your own visualization. So you could download the graph data as a Node Excel workbook. Uh, and you could also download the options used to create that graph so that you could reproduce this work. Uh, and maybe you could apply those options to your own Kind of study. But let's head back to nodexl.codeplex.com. Uh, the zip file has downloaded. 
I have a slow internet connection, so for you it should happen much more quickly. So I'm going to open up that zip file. And if you have a, a recently new computer, you should be able to do this. And I'm going to make sure I select all and then do an unzip. There I have it. So now I have uh, unzipped this file. There's uh, four options here. I'm going to pick the one that says setup and I'm going to click it. And it says, security says, do I want to make changes to the computer? Sure, I do. It's going to be preparing to install. Here's the Excel template setup wizard. Uh, it says we're going to click next here. I want to install it for everyone on the computer just in case I have some other users. Uh, and now I'm going to click next. It's going to be installing. Let's see how long it takes. Uh, you might be surprised. It, it shouldn't take too long at all. Here, Oh, here's an option. It says, do I want to register? No, I really don't want to register. Okay, and then it tells me how to use the Node Excel template. Uh, I could look at all programs, it says, and then Node Excel. So let me try that. <laughs> well, I have Windows 8. So in Windows 8, I can just type in Node Excel. Oh, and look, and there it is, Node Excel template. But if you uh, have an older version of Windows, Windows 7, Windows XP, you hit the Start button, and then All Programs shows up, and then you can type in uh, Node Excel. It'll show up. Okay. The other thing uh, that you can do is you can also look on your desktop. Sometimes it's there. So I'm going to type in Node Excel. Uh, look, here's the template. I click on it. It loads. It loads within Microsoft Excel. It, it looks a little different. Uh, it's because it is a little different. But recognize if you're familiar with Node Excel, which is a spreadsheet, uh, it, it really is no different. It only has an extra window over here, which is going to show you some great graphics when you're ready. It has tabs down at the bottom for edges and vertices groups, which you might uh, be interested in, in thinking about later when you're doing some visualizations. All these tools that you'll become comfortable with during your time in this course. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please get in touch with me at james.m.cook at main.edu and I'll be glad to help you through whatever hiccups you might have. Although if it's an issue specific to your computer, I suggest that uh, you give IT desks and help desks a call. Thank you.